Okay. Move the electric cable as far forward as possible, which is all the way to the front mass port. Make sure the cable is not on the way of the winch handle. support on each side make sure that this uh, this uh, back leg is separated from the house this one and move the pins away Previously I have completely lifted up the keel, which is crucial, so you can successfully safe launch the boat. And then I prepare the engine on the stern, and now we are going into the water. Definitely make sure that you secure the handbrake completely. And uh, as you can see, I've stopped just before the slippy part of the of the slip starts because this is a rear wheel drive car. So this is the maximum. So, uh, Before I will actually launch the boat, I will prepare rudders and the engine. As soon as you have enough um, depth, uh, lower the kill. If you have enough room, you can lower it completely. But if you're in a hurry, then just make sure you do, let's say, at least 15 or 20 turns so that at least one quarter of the kill will get out of the kill box and give and helps you to keep keep the course. So always after you uh, have the trailer in the, in the salty water, extensively wash it with fresh water, especially the wheels and the bearings. One of the cool options to really make sure that the water comes in into the wheel bearings is uh, this uh, washing system integrated on the trailer which takes the water exactly where it needs to be. Secure the 
not and for the end connect back the electric the electric cable that's it and you're ready to go sailing <laughs>